So I feel like I should be wearing a hat in this video. Why is that? Because I would tip it to the marketing department who named this film The Cutting Room. What a clever title. And why is it that? Well, let's be honest. It kind of gives you an idea about what's going to happen in the movie here. But also because of that, it's actually based a film about these kind of media students who are going around making a documentary and obviously cutting in regards to editing. So good job on the title there and I have to say this movie opens strong it's one of its best uh, scenes is actually the, the very very beginning scene where we see our kind of first victim and the kind of the story here focuses on three media students basically who are doing a, a project at college uh, and they're basically trying to do this documentary about cyberbullying but this leads them down a darker path where they are investigating or end up investigating disappearances of local girls and of course we know basically that there's this killer who's doing some kind of bodily mutation to these girls for whatever reasons and obviously as the movie progresses they get further and further towards the truth and inevitably come across the killer as you'd probably expect so uh, let's go on to the the little bit more detail about this movie so this is a British movie and it is a very low budget film and um, you know with, with low budget films you kind of have to I feel sometimes give a little bit of leeway in regards to what they can and can't do it, because of their budgetary restrictions and a lot of these movies that are low budget end up being sort of found footage films because it kind of gives you that kind of that low tech uh, that, that look to it and a, and a genuine reason for that so I've got to be honest with you, I think the the way this film is, the, certainly the cover and the title, it, you'll be forgiven for thinking it's going to be like a torture porn film along the lines of Hostel and Saw and things like that. And it really isn't, to be honest with you. It's a straight found footage film with a kind of a, 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 like a murderer, mass murderer. Uh, and, and, and a lot of these films, like you see, these found footage films, really only show you kind of a small amount of the the bad guy the antagonist the threat whatever it is and this one is no different you don't really see a lot of the killer here and that's going to be one of my criticisms as i'll come on to but let's talk about some positives first of all for the budget here i think this does a reasonable job of setting up our characters and uh, giving you a kind of an interesting premise uh, i think the actual acting is is, is fairly good I have to be honest, I think maybe the, the actors are actually more or less playing themselves, in a way. I don't think they're so much acting, but nevertheless, their characters do come across as genuine kind of students, and you can imagine them being like this in kind of, if they were real characters and things like that. So, fair enough, they might kind of, I mean, they, I might be wrong about that, but they they kind of do a good job of making them, that they're believable uh, sort of people who you would think that would probably would be at college and would act like this, for example like i said i think the premise is quite good you know and the kind of as the way the investigation goes you know you you, you slowly are kind of piecing it together and there's a variety of different interviews and and clues these guys kind of get on the way uh the actual killer himself uh we're going to kind of go into this is going to be both a positive and negative i think that the actual killer himself potentially is, is quite interesting and, and you kind of this movie will make you want to know more about his motivations and why he's kind of doing certain things but unfortunately it might pique your interest but it doesn't pay off because we don't really see a lot of him um you'll kind of see the odd well, literally maybe one one flat to flash in the kind of the movie and then the rest of it is this kind of pretty much the whole you know, the last kind of 10 minutes of it basically and even then we don't get a particularly good look it, to me this film opens really strongly at that beginning scene where we see and you know this is the first scene so i'm going to talk about it we basically see the killer maybe sort of strapping down his kind of first victim and he's doing something with her and he's kind of playing this kind of creepy old music great it kind of really sets up i think wow this is going to be a pretty decent horror film but it never really i don't think it ever gets back to that kind of that level of creepiness um the vast majority of this film i mean the, the, the absolute vast majority of this film is literally these three sort of teenagers just walking around trying to investigate stuff talking to people having conversations and mainly arguing there's lots and lots of arguing in this film and the that the main guy the main kind of male character seems to want to bone literally every single uh female he ever comes across in fact the majority of male characters here probably come across as some kind of uh sexual deviant in some way even the kind of the teacher is kind of alluded to that he might be a little bit of a you know 
with one of his students but um and obviously you have the killer who's clearly got something wrong with him as well so you know <laughs> the male characters aren't particularly well well portrayed in regards to positive uh, uh you know characters here so that i mean the other thing i guess i would say with this film it's not a lot happens there's not a massive amount of plot here but there are certain decisions that these characters make that just seem ridiculous and this is a, a scripting issue to be quite honest like the basically the lack of inaction in regards to calling the police uh, certain things that you would probably do or do not do in real life and then there's a scene i guess just to move the story on obviously this is called cutting rooms there obviously is going to be a place somewhere and yes this place exists and they decide oh yeah yeah we're totally going to go in there in the middle of the night and um you know we can hear screaming and stuff and we'll just go in there without kind of telling anyone where we are or whatever you know it's kind of one of these things where you think oh man you wouldn't do that you simply just wouldn't do that uh, you know if you were that you would come back in the day um or you would call the police the first sign that there was something wrong here so uh you know there, there are some kind of silly decisions and kind of just things that aren't just don't fit really just to kind of make this kind of the, this sort of false drama if you like and the uh, when we actually do have the kind of the last portion of the film which is pretty much where we'll have our kind of face off with the killer there is it being a found footage film you know you can't see a lot it's very dark and there's a lot of kind of just shaking the camera around so you just kind of lose where you are and like i, I kind of mentioned it but we don't really see the, the the point of view of the killer we don't really understand what his kind of his goal is or we're kind of given some idea but for me i was kind of a bit like i want to know more about this guy i want to be able to understand even if he's crazy or whatever you know what in his mind what's going on and it would have benefited the film if it wasn't a found footage so you could have a little bit more kind of uh, interaction with the kind of the killer but because it's found footage we only ever see it from the victim's point of view and therefore we don't really see a lot of him and it kind of leaves you these questions but you don't ever get answers so it kind of picks your interest but then kind of uh, falls a little bit flat so i gotta say um i can see some promise in this film uh, but as a piece of entertainment, not a lot happens. It kind of gets boring at the beginning, and then I don't think the payoff was particularly good. But it wasn't a terrible effort. I have seen kind of uh, probably worse found footage films that have a higher budget than this. But overall, I, I think as a piece of entertainment, it isn't the best movie. Uh, I will give this film a 3 out of 10. Uh, leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing it. Tell me if you have seen it, and bye for now.